In today's video, we are going to lay up the fiberglass fairing around the bottom of the windshield. Now, one of the problems with trying to film while you're working with fiberglass is that there are some parts of it that are pretty time critical. What we do is we put about a, we fill this cup up about a third way with resin. And when it's in this cup, you only have about 20 or 30 minutes to work with it. So we fill this up at Lens House, that's where we have the resin, it's kept in a heated cabinet. And then we walk it all the way back to my house, which takes maybe five minutes. So five minutes of that time is already gone by the time we get back to the hangar to start working on it. Um, so it's really hard to play with the camera and take breaks and film what we're doing. So what I did was I just kind of set the camera up, filmed everything, and then I'm going to try to edit it down and then just kind of voice over and talk about the steps that we're doing to get this fairing laid up on the windshield. This is what the fairing looks like finished. Now there's a layer of peel ply on the top of here, which I'll talk about later. But what I want to do is just kind of start from the beginning. Obviously, if you saw the previous video, you know the first step is to, to tape it off with duct tape. And it's because this resin won't stick to the duct tape. That was the first step. Then what I did was I took a very, very thin layer of Vaseline and I spread that on top of the duct tape. And that just helps the, the resin not stick even more and it helps pop this fairing off once it's dry. Then we went, mixed up the resin in the cup, came back to the hanger here, and then we spread just a real thin layer of resin right on top of the, the, the duct tape and Vaseline just on uh, all, uh, all around there. What that does, it puts a base layer of resin on there and then we laid up the cloth dry on top of that. And then uh, from there, you'll kind of see through the rest of the video how we finished it off. Well, Len and I worked as a team on this and you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just spreading that real thin layer of resin over the tape. Len's coming in behind me and just putting down the fiberglass. And again, the fiberglass is dry. There are other ways you can do it. You can pre-wet the, the, or pre-soak the, the glass with resin. And there's just different ways to do it for different techniques and different things you're trying to accomplish. But this is the way we, we laid up this one. So what it'll do is that the resin that I'm spreading on the tape will, will sort of start to soak up through the, the glass cloth. Now I'm going back with the cup of resin and again this is where you kind of have to hurry a little bit because like I said earlier when that resin is in the cup you only have a certain amount of time to work with it before it starts to harden up. So Len put down the fiberglass on top of the very thin layer of resin that I put down and now what I'm doing with a paintbrush is I'm putting down a thicker layer of resin on top of the glass. What this resin layer will do will soak into the first layer of resin and I'm putting it down thick enough so that when we lay the second layer of cloth on top of the first layer, it soaks up through the second layer and bonds those two layers of glass together. And just as an FYI here, right about this point, Len looked at the, the resin I was putting on top of that cloth and said that I was putting it on too thin. I need to go even thicker than that. So just be aware that if you're going to do the same technique, you really put that first layer on fairly thick. And again, that is because you're putting enough, in, enough on there so that it can soak up through the second layer of cloth. What you'll see here is Len working on the left side of the airplane, laying up layers of the fiberglass cloth. And if you look at the bottom of the windshield, I'm gonna make the fairing go a little bit behind the windshield. And you'll see why and how, what I'm talking about once I cut the fairing out and trim it. So he's adding one more little piece here you'll see in just a second to make, to just to give me a little extra to play with at the end of that windshield. So while he's working on the left side, I'm over on the right side, just laying up the resin on top of the cloth. Now that he's done laying that first layer of fiberglass cloth, Len's just helping me with another cup of resin and spreading a thick layer of resin on top of this first layer of fiberglass.
Now that we have the first layer of glass cloth down and a thick layer of resin on top of that, we're going to start adding the second layer of fiberglass. And one of the things you're going to notice here is Len was trying to put on this big long piece around the top. And because this piece is so long, when he's working with it, it's, he's pulling it thin, not on purpose, but it's just hard to work with a piece this long and not pull it. And when you pull this cloth, it tends to get thinner. Now I wanna show you what I mean by working with this cloth. This is a short piece here, maybe about eight inches long, but imagine if this was you know, three feet long, like the, the piece we're working with now. What I mean by this is you'll notice if I pull this, you see how it gets thin? So the more I pull it, the thinner it gets. So it went from maybe three and a half inches down to like two inches here. And that was the problem Len was having is this piece was so long with him trying to work with it and hold it, it was just naturally pulling thin like that and making the, the cloth too thin. You can spread it back out, but uh, that's why you'll see me jump in there and hold the end of it while he's laying it down. It just prevents us from, from being stretched and thinned out. At this point, Len is still working on putting the second layer of fiberglass cloth around the bottom on top of the thick layer of resin that I've added. And now I'm on the other side putting another coat, a thinner coat of resin on top of the second layer of cloth. Now all these layers of resin will soak through the cloth and bond them together, making a really nice strong fairing. Well, now the two layers of fiberglass are added, so the fiberglass work is complete. And on top of this fiberglass and resin, we're adding peel ply, which is nothing more than aircraft fabric, same kind of fabric that my pits is covered with. And what this does is we just put this on the top, and it, when the, uh, the resin and fiberglass cure, it makes a very, very nice smooth, not perfectly smooth, but a much smoother surface on the top of the fairing which greatly reduces the amount of filling and sanding and working I have to do to get a perfect finish on the fairing. On top of the peel ply we add another thin layer of resin and this is where you kind of work out all of the air bubbles and everything that you'll see under the, the, the peel ply and you'll just you'll see them and you'll know they're there because they look like little white dots. You can tell that it's an air bubble and it's all worked out with a brush and a layer of resin on top of the peel ply. Well, here's what it looks like when it's all done. The peel ply is on top of there. I'll wait a few days for this to cure and then I can peel that peel ply off. And once I do peel it off, you get a surface that looks like this. Now this is my fairing I made for the horizontal stabilizer. It looks kind of goofy just like this, but it looks really, really nice on the airplane. <laughs> but anyway, you get a nice smooth surface. And everywhere you have a, an overlap of that peel ply, you have just a little tiny ridge that's very easy to knock off with sandpaper. So even on here, when I take this off the peel ply, uh, everywhere there's a little seam, you'll have just a tiny little ridge that uh, will get sanded off. But it, it's, a, it's a fairly smooth surface. So that's the advantage of putting peel ply on there. And uh, once this one is done and the peel ply is removed, I can take all three of these fairings and we'll mix up another batch of resin and we'll put some micro balloons and flocks in it and uh, spread it on here fairly thick. And then that gets sanded almost completely off, but what that does is it fills all the little imperfections and that's how you get a really nice smooth finish. If you look at this fairing here, you'll notice it's nice and smooth with no ridges and valleys and things like that. 
And that is because it was laid up on the airplane, fiberglass and then peel ply was laid on top of that. And then that other layer of resin was put on here and sanded off. And that's what really gets it a nice smooth finish. Even on this fairing here, you can see how smooth it is. And one of the things I like is I did this on purpose where I made this like a little pocket that the window sits in here. It's, you know, smooth here. And then as it comes down, it kind of transitions into like a little step. Same exact thing I did on the Super Duty fairing. And one of the nice things about putting that, uh, that thick layer of resin on the top with the micro balloons and stuff is that you can really perfect and by sanding, you can really perfect the shape of this and get it really nice and smooth and perfect. So this is exactly how uh, it will look on the Super Duty. And if I can just kind of show you, it's the same way, it's nice and smooth here, but as it comes down on the side, if you can tell, it starts to transition into kind of like a little pocket that the side of the window sits in. So we'll spread uh, that, that resin all on here and then sand this just really nice and make that really perfect. Well, I think I mentioned earlier, this was actually laid up yesterday. Uh, today's Thursday. It's mostly dry, but I will give it a few days for it to fully cure before I start messing around with it. So there's not much else I'm going to do in the hangar today just because I have so many other things to do. So probably no video coming out tomorrow. But that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these four quick videos that I put out. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, which is probably going to be working on this fairing.